Eddie Galati has the loneliest job in Detroit. He's a guard at one of the oldest ballparks in the country. And for seven weeks, that ballpark has been empty. When he's not reading anything he can get his hands on, Eddie watches the maintenance crews at work and dreams about the Tigers and the 1968 World Series. Eddie says the stadium has never looked better. I've been working every day pretty steady and uh, yeah, they cut the lawn every other day. And, yeah, they're always doing something over here. Yeah, they're painting and uh, whatnot, repairing the stadium. We had a roaring crowd here, I remember. 68 World Series, especially when Lolich pitched that last game of his that he won. And the crowd just broke loose all over the streets and yelled. And, well, it was... One heck of a time, I guess. <laughs> but it's not just folks like Eddie Galati that want the stadium filled again. A recent Dunn and Bradstreet survey shows businesses near ballparks are suffering. This bar, which caters to sports fans, even went out and helped sponsor some little leaguers. Things here are okay, but they'd be better if the Tigers were playing. We would sell a lot more with the ball game going, especially at night. The night games did help us out very much. The irony of this lost season is that good, bad, or mediocre, the fans of this city supported the Tigers. And the optimists, the ones that are keeping the stadium in such great shape, are hoping they're right. And the strike will end in the next few days. From Tiger Stadium, Bob Bennett, News 4 Detroit.